What the fuck? I can do this shit. Watch this. Ugh. All right. Yo, 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 you already know what the fuck is going on. It's your motherfucking favorite host, G Hunter, representing Talk of the Town, representing Mass Coalition. We here on double motherfucking duty. Long way to interview. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. Very long way. I don't need to give this person the introduction. Y'all already know who the fuck it is. Shantae, what's up with it? What's going on? We supposed to be doing this. Yeah, you feel me? Long way. Everybody been waiting. But, you know, we here now. We nice. here. On the nice. snowy motherfucking side of that. <laughs> you feel me? But that's cool. We in the building, you about to get high, we about to vibe out and have a nice conversation. How you doing? This year's been good. Same old, same old, just been working, doing shoes, trying to figure out which lane I want to dive into next, you know? Trying to give the people something fresh, something different. So, that's my focus for this year, for right now. Okay. Let's get into it. Like, like tell the, the people a little bit about you, give them the background story, and we should tell you this. How did the whole shoot thing start? The shoe thing was actually out of boredom. Um, everybody's always known me to be a sneakerhead, always been into shoes. But um, during quarantine, I was super bored and I didn't feel like painting on the canvas. So, like you know, let me pick up a shoe, hop on YouTube, learned a couple tricks and all that. Made two pairs for myself, posted it, and shit went crazy. Like, mad people hitting me up talking about they want a pair this time third. I'm like, you know, this might be. Oh, girl, Something like, different. So you just picked up one of your shoes and you just like, no, what if I, let, me, let me just try to. What if you messed up though? Like, what if you really, really like the shoe? Like, I mean, I ordered two forces. Everybody oh, knows forces is yeah, way to grab. That's whatever. Love forces, forces. You know. Um, but yeah, I've always been artsy, so mm. I had a lot of confidence in my art. So that was no, that was whatever. But um, yeah, I just didn't expect it to get to blow up the way it did at all. Like, I did not plan to start a business, nothing, it just happened. It just took off. You so I just quit off. my job and just went all in with it. And it's been three years, so. Three years. Yep, maybe three years. This. Expert behind this. How do you stay, like, how do you stay creative with, you know, the different types of shoes? I see you got two displays right here. Like, um, it's, it's customers. I give the people what they ask for, so people you, hit me up with their design. And I make it come to life. This, I, I know you freestyled a few of them though, because like. Um. So I went to school for graphic design. Okay. Just make logos. So usually people be like, well, I don't know what I want. I think I want this with this, this and this. And like we'll talk out a design. At the end, after the consultation, we'll have a full consultation about how I think it should be designed, and then they pay for it. You just go from there. So how, I had no complaints. How long does it usually take you to create? what the customer's like and sometimes what you like. Um, on average, a pair takes at least like seven hours. On average. Yeah, that's why the price is the way it is. So it's, it's a lot of time. This pair, I want to say it took me 12. It took me two days. Like I had to do a part, start picking up later just because of the drying process and all of that. You know, rope places in right now. Everybody loves their rope places. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, these are, these are crazy. Like, look at the cover. I love forces. So seeing they're things classics. like this. Like, this is different. They're timeless. So you said this took seven hours? That one took only seven hours. I was that about one took to say, like. Maybe 10, 12 hours. It took a while. It took a long time for those. Those are two days. Yeah, I don't wanna. Gotta ship those to Arizona. And the baby Johns. Yeah, the little babies. The baby Johns. These probably took, took like less time. Before. Yeah, for sure. Um, and because that's like a basic design, so I have a starting price. Like this one is way over the starting price. Oh, that that was the starting be. price for the kids. So it's a basic. Mm. Basic cool. design. That took about five hours. Yeah. Still long enough time. Because you have to like dye the inside and all that. Make sure you have the right colors. You got a color match. And that alone is annoying. You waste a lot of paint doing that. People don't even think about that. A lot of material gets wasted and make sure colors are right. Listen, I was that's the, that was gonna go into my next question. Like how much because I know you definitely invest in the material. I don't wanna be like how much do you need. But how much does the material and everything that you know in order to make the sneakers, in order to make the like how much does all of that go? I know it's not no It's nothing cheap. Yeah, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like what's so my paint 
at home is worth at least like six hundred dollars like for all the colors that's just the paint alone that's just the paint because i have two different brands that i use and one brand's super expensive so the paint alone is at least like six and then i gotta use tape take the whole shoe off shoe off all of that takes at least three hours to do tape is vinyl in painters tape the vinyl is like ten dollars a roll. Painters tape. I get a. That shit adds up. Does it? That shit adds up. I get a certain kind, so that one's like twelve dollars a roll, and I go through a roll like that. So that's why the shoe costs the way it costs, cause the materials and all that that goes behind it. I have to use vinyl to make the stencils for certain designs and all of that. It's a Cricut printer to print out everything. Cause I used to draw everything by hand. I used to do every single last design by hand, but I get too many orders now, so. Right. See, I wish I could now I gotta do like the stencils. That's, that's, that's right. smarter, not harder. Nah, that's dope. I mean, shit, that's, that's, that's both. That's still harder, yeah, though. No, like. Facts, <laughs> but it definitely saves a lot of time because I used to spend all day drawing out a whole design. Mm. But sometimes I will. Like, sometimes I can't find images I like. Or I just, you know, want to step back to how was when I first started, so I'll draw the whole thing out, but, yeah. And she said she's going to be shy, y'all. She ain't shy. You're she over dog. here banging <laughs> up the I love it. Energy, be sitting there getting high. It's lit. I told you, you're my dog, so I had to do my first interview with you. Oh, that's love. That's definitely love. So I've seen that there was a few times on social media people stole your, your you know, your ideas, stole your posts and tried to make it seem like it was theirs. Yeah. Oh, fucking yeah. Yeah. How did you deal with that bullshit? Because it, it wasn't only once. <laughs> it happened a couple of times. And I, it, it was just like, what the fuck? Like, how do you deal with that? The first time was the worst. Because the person I stole my, Im my images was from Boston. I didn't figure out who. What a dingus. But they was from here. Um, but luckily, everybody, shout out to everyone. Because everyone reported the page. Mm. Got to shut down real quick. Sure the fuck did. Um, and one of my friends actually hit up the person and they said like I want to step into the game but I don't have any designs of my own so I'm just using hers as examples and it's like you can't do that you gotta do what I do you gotta buy the shoes create it put it out there you gotta get out the mud you can't just be stealing other people's stuff so shout out to my boy aunt for looking out he definitely Talked to that homeboy, so he ended up feeling bad at that. But what the fuck do you feel comfortable writing that shit? Like, yeah, I just want to step into the game, so uh, I just go ahead and stole her idea, and uh, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I would never understand it, but it happens. But after that, I just figured, you know what happens to everybody? It happen. literally happens to every big person. They get duplicates of their pages and all that, so I can't sit here and stress over it, get upset about it. All I can do is just support the page, and it is what it is. But the last time with the Telfar bags. Mm -hmm. Once again, everyone went ham on Facebook because the girl blocked me. Once she figured out, I figured out who she was. She blocked me, but then after all my friends, everyone was commenting, it's a fake page, going on to other people's shares, going on to their pages, commenting, it's a fake page. So I did get a lot of sales off of that. So hey. did get a lot of sales off Double of that. Double up, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? And, it, and I actually met some of the other artists too. Because mm. I was curious to find out who else, who else's work got stolen. Because it wasn't just mine. Mm. So now I'm connected with the other artists. That's why I was telling you I want to take a break. Mm. So I can start whipping up projects with them too. They're from other states. So why not team up with other black people? Exactly. They're working on this exactly. part. Exactly. No, that's definitely. So it worked out. So even though the person stole our work. I was able to network, like you said, with other people, about to make some crazy things for, for everyone out here. That's a fact. That is a fact. Now, let's step on the Telstar guys, because she doesn't only do sneakers, y'all. Like, she only brought two sneakers out, you know, but go to her page. She, 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 she in her bag, for real. How'd you start doing um, the bags and everything? Like, um, designing the bags. I know that takes a lot. Buying the bag alone and then. You know what I'm saying? So how did you get into doing that? I feel that like Telfar has my face on like the the customer appreciation wall. Like we mm -hmm. love this customer because I I don't get how people miss out on the bags. I the bags drop at a certain time. I'm checked. Well, they used to drop at I want to say ten. It's twelve now. 
but they used to drop at 10 a.m. I was on there at 9.59. I'm checked out by 10.01. If hey, you're not checked out yo. by 10.01, you're not getting a bag. And I've never, ever, ever missed a bag. So I've always been a Telfar mm -hmm. fan. So when everybody else started getting into one, I'm like, this might be another little oh, lane. So I made true. one for myself. Same thing with the shoes. Made one for myself, posted it. See how that did. Then same thing. Oh, I have Telfar's at home. Or I just have this little guitar. And I have da da So I've done like luggage sets. And all. I like bags better than doing shoes, honestly. Very bright. I don't know. I just, do you, do you the way the does paint. Does it take more time? Um, it's around the same amount of time. It's just the way the paint glides on the bags is just different. So I really like doing telephones and all of that. But same thing, people don't want to pay the price for the bags. That girl was selling them for $80, so a lot of people was thinking no, telephones are cheap. No way. Niggas is really trying to be scam artists out here. That is different. Yes. $80 <laughs> for telephones. There you go. So I see that you're always, you know, you're in the you're in the Boston scene. You be at the tournaments or whatever case maybe. <laughs> she be outside, y'all. She be outside. Is there one thing that you would like to change in the city of Boston? Um, I feel like artists as a whole, not just the music, because that always comes up. But I wish artists as a whole can like work together mm. on things better. I feel like everyone don't trust the other person. I'm guilty of that. Definitely guilty of that. Me too. But it's because I put myself out there and it got fucked over. And it sucks, like, it's because, like, I want people be thinking that Boston's not a lit city. And mm -hmm. we have so much talent here. That's right. It's just we don't try to push each other to get out there more. So that's one thing I wish we could change because there's a lot of fire people out here, a lot of fire artists. Someone was saying there's no fashion scene. There's definitely a fashion scene out here. Hey. Stop. Sure. <laughs> cause that's gonna be one of my questions. Cause I seen, I seen it kind of tick tick. Like, all right, that that's the question. Why do you feel like people think there's no fashion scene in Boston? Like, what is what what is everybody's hatred towards Boston? People be having things fucked up in Boston. It's like one minute people complain that we're trying to be too much like New York, and then they get upset that we that we don't have New York traits. Mm -hmm. We're not a New York's known for fashion. LA is known for fashion, like how Atlanta's known for hair. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta's known for music. Boston, we're known for good schools, hospitals. We're not known for that, so people don't think that we have that yet. It's very small. It is very small. It is. It is. But as many artists and as many fashion people that came out of Boston, you would think we would get a little bit more respect when they came and to that's the why i think we should work together more and start putting out more shows because like i was telling one person on facebook there are shows but they be so small they don't be marketed right mm -hmm. so people don't really be hip to it like we need to have a bigger scene other than the um we have a boston fashion week thing right yeah we do so, right yeah so other than that that's the only major thing i, I know of but we need to have bigger shows to showcase what we have here it's just nobody wants to work together on making that happen so, we definitely gotta change around here, start loving each other more, spread the love. One day. One day. Because I was planning on moving to, to build my business, but I was talking to a couple people, but I'm like, I don't want to do that because I want to make this city big. But do you feel like it's necessary, you know, to take your business to the next level? No. Because all you gotta do is travel. Like, even if you don't have to move. Because I used to go, we were talking about battle rap before we started this. Going to the battles, traveling for those, talk about your business there. I get customers there. You know what I mean? And then they end up telling their peoples. So the next thing you know, from one person, there's 10 people. So, and I don't live there, you know? Then they, where I'm on Instagram, tag me. Now I got more people. So you just have to travel and put yourself out there, go to little events and all that. You don't have to necessarily move. So that's one thing I've learned with traveling with Cake, traveling for um, rap, rap battles and all of that. So you know how to move to make, make things happen. So. It's all about networking, y'all. You feel what I'm saying? Bringing networking back to the city. Mm -hmm. So was there like a, a specific bag or a specific 
piece of your art that you love to do the most? That you like your favorite? Say you have a favorite snake or favorite bag, favorite photo, not photo, but you know, portrait, whatever. That's hard. <laughs> Um, I think my favorite thing to do is ones, because mm -hmm. I love the on them. I love working with ones, and it's a little bit challenging too as far as taping off the areas and all that, because it's so much different than forces. Like there's a little bit more detail to it, so it gets a little bit more of a challenge. So. <laughs> Would you ever do some Adidas? <laughs> I definitely have. I, I did some. Um, some top, actually, matter of fact, all the shits I did were so old heads, top 10. Old heads. Yeah, Uzi. Honestly, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm 32. I hate to say it. I've, I've always I'm said it though. Hey. Say it, Those yeah. Those are for, for, for mm -hmm. next ass 40 plus. I'm 32. Yes, yeah, sir. Trees are trees. Niggas don't wear plus, Adidas. Not 40 plus, y'all got it. But oh, yeah, I can't knock it though because it's, it's the staple of our city. So you can't, you can't be upset. I've had some Shelly's, I've had, I've had some top tens, I've had it all before. I've never. For real? Ever. That's sad. No, it's How not. How do you call yourself a Bostonian and never? Because I lived in Boston all my goddamn, I would never. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> I would never wear no. No, Shelly's. I would never, I would never no wear no, Smiths. none of them damn things. I got them all, like. First, I mean, they're sneaker. That's, that's 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 cool. But that's I would Stan Smith. never. Stan Smith's on class. You gotta keep those first actual it. pair of sneakers I ever bought. Like Dolo, with my own bread with some fucking shirts. You had fucked up. Should have been some forces. Fourth grade, fresh pair. I only wear forces. With the rope chain. Only. Wear, not the rope chain. Only that's wear forces. Only wear forces. I mean, that's another Boston classic. So okay. I can't even knock it. See, but you got it. We got to get you, you some. No. Mm -mm. I'm gonna do some stance messes or something. Mm -mm. I mean, I mean, if you no wait, nah. See, you can't do that because like, uh, I mean, that's probably the only time and I, I wear. I got a design this. in my head that I've been wanting to do, so I was gonna do it for myself. But I might have to. That'd be like the only time I wear this. Other than that, mm -mm, I, yeah. those, those are it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe some shellies. We might have to get some shellies. Why are y'all talking? Like, uh, no. Yes. Forces. Forces only. You feel me? It's only right. Now, I like doing other silhouettes too, though. Like, one guy had me um, do a pair of top tens to make it look like a Remy bottle. Right. Remy colors. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm like, this is definitely an old head pair, but I fuck with it. I was definitely hey, here for it. Yo, what? That was is fun to do. different. A young nigga with an old soul. Nah, young nigga with an old soul, word. That's different. So, I want to always ask you this. I love forces to death. But I seen that you made the, um, you know, the forces that change color in the... In the sun? Yeah. How in the f... Alright, so the process behind that. And how did you learn that? Like, that is... I know that shit was probably so difficult. Um, that shit's different, y'all. Like, the first time I seen it was on... <laughs> yeah, I see no like, working, yo, that's I'll have a video running and like videos will just keep running and I'll like listen and I'll catch on to something. I'll make my stock on the shoe, run the video back, see what they did, and then test it out myself. But it's just like a paint additive. You have to buy it that's just expensive. So it's like a little powder you add to paint, you gotta make sure you add the right ratio. And then you have to test it out, you have to keep going outside, testing it. Making sure that I'm about to say, like, what if it's like a whole week of raining, though, like... And that's the part that's, so that's happened to me before. Like, for and it sucks because it's like, clients be waiting a whole six weeks for their shoes, but some things like that happen. Mm, so so I gotta push them back, and I feel so bad, because it's like, I'm not bullshitting you, I swear, it's just... Time really? don't be right for me, I swear, I swear. Things just be don't work in my favor sometimes. And that'd be like when I have to do hydro dipping, I have to do that outside. Sometimes it's raining, snowing, whatever. Can't do that. Like... My friends been waiting. It's been snowing all week, and I love taking my pictures outside. Mm -hmm. And I can't do that because I don't. The snow. The I don't know what dirt is under the grass and all the mud, whatever. I'm not trying to mess up all the shoes, especially about to ship them off, especially if you've been waiting. So I've been waiting for a nice sunny day. Yeah. 
Hey, yo. I can only imagine the, the, the patience you have to have behind that. I'm so impatient for shit. I would have been mad as shit. Like, you know oh. what? <laughs> like, I, I've had to explain to people because some people send me up like, oh, can you teach me how to do customs? Blah, blah. One question I ask, are you patient? <laughs> you don't have no patience, this ain't for you. And can you draw? I can draw Because if shit. you can't draw, then I can't yeah. help you with that because that's the first thing to it. So. Well, but I can't help I can't draw for shit. I can draw stick figures. That's <laughs> lit. I know you could draw. You can draw nothing. What design? The digital game. Mm. <laughs> but that's how it all started for me. Being on the computer, doing everything on Photoshop, mm. on Illustrator. That's what, well, I didn't finish school, but that's what I was getting my degree in. So patience, being on Photoshop for a very long time, being on After Effects, making little motions. Just looking at the screen for so long, I fell asleep. I can't do it no more after COVID. That's why I stopped doing graphics, because yeah. I cannot look at screens for a long time. I'll fuck around and fall asleep. No cap. That's why we fall asleep at work. Ooh, she never said that. I'll try to watch this shit. Well, but whatever. Like, shout out to Rose Casino on Facebook. I've been sending everybody to her. Yes, sir. The graphics. Official designer of Talk of the Town. She just part of the fucking gang. You already know. Very sweet, very professional. She gets shit done. She does all my flyers. I want her to raise her prices, though. I'm going to say that on camera. Mm-hmm. I want mm -hmm. her to raise her prices, mm -hmm. know your worth. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I told her. She got. I told, I, I told her like I don't like when people give me advice. I'm a Virgo, so sometimes it's like very unwarranted. Yeah. unwarranted. Virgo game. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, is there? Wait. September or um, August? September. What are you? August. Uh. Y'all the fake Virgos. What? Like, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm Actually, sorry. I might come on the borderline because my birthday is August 26th. My birthday is like literally the day after the Leo shit starts. Exactly. So you're like right there when they I'm call like, the cusp. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm on the cusp. But no, I'm not for sure. I mean, at least you just made it right. The, the first, I'm the first day of Virgo. And you're not a Leo. Cause yeah, that would have. That would have sucked. Yeah, very much so. Can't but, do that. Big Virgo game. But. I told her, like, I'm not trying to, you know, step on your toes or nothing. I'm not trying to give you unwanted advice. But please raise your prices. Please. It's just too fire. Word. And if people want to make, uh, if, if people are serious about their business, they're going to invest in it. They are. They're going to spend the money. So, charge them. So, you my girl. So, give me your three best memories. Whether it's doing customs, whether it's... Oh, matter of fact, let me give you a better question. Three best memories when it comes to your customers. My customers? Oh, uh, I have more than three. <laughs> that's, give me that's, five. List them. That's hard because, like, a lot of my customers be going crazy when they see the shoes. Mm -hmm. Like, their reactions be everything. And it's been more than five. It's been more than three. It's been more than I can count. And that's the best time to me. It's just the fact that... Like you said, how do I make people's ideas come to life? And sometimes I'd be like, I like it, but I hope they do. And when they go crazy, I'm like, oh, this is what I do it for. I love to see them smiles. Um, oh, my top three. And now I can't, I can't pinpoint. Crazy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I can't pinpoint one just because there's been so many good times with, with this. It's hard to like put one above the other. But I can say, um, not necessarily with my customers, but one good time was with Scope. The Scope Apparel opened, and they brought me part of the team. The release, the our first couple days was fire. Like, everybody showing mad love. Mad love. Um, on Facebook, if they couldn't come, resharing it. Like, the reshares, I'm here for it. I love when people reshare my work, because they don't have to. You know, that's showing me love. If you can't show up, at least you show you're showing other people so they can possibly come. Right. So those couple days was definitely lit. I think that's when we actually started chopping it up about this interview. It was so around then. That was the first time. Second time was at D Y C. Yeah. Third time was at the box. <laughs> and then how we found it. And now we're here. So that was definitely a, a lit time for me being in the shop, being able to like talk to people face to face about their orders. And all that, so that was definitely a good time. How do you stay motivated to keep going? I know sometimes the work can be overwhelming, sometimes 
you know, you could probably overbook yourself, you know, with me too, like, how do you stay motivated to just keep going? Not wanna disappoint my clients. Um, disappointing people does not feel good. I don't I mean, I make shit happen. I've never not made it happen, but like we was talking about, sometimes it'd be messed up circumstances, so I have to push things back and all of that, but that's, that's what keeps me going, is making sure I make people happy and get, they get what they're paying for. So there's some days I don't feel like touching anything. I think to myself, like, yeah, no, I can't do it like that. I gotta get this done. So I push myself based off of that. Like, I don't want to disappoint nobody because they didn't have to spend money with me. They didn't have to come to me. They could have went to somebody else. There's plenty of other people to say I do customs. So I definitely gotta appreciate them by making sure I do everything on time and perfect. So that's what pushes me. Do you, do you ever feel like you're in competition with those other people that no. tend to do the same thing you Not do? Not at all, because we all have different aesthetics, all of us. We do the same thing, but all of our work looks different. So, and on top of that too, like I wanna work with them. Like I wanna have an art show. So I be, people be thinking that we don't talk, <laughs> so, I do talk to a lot of people that do customs in the city because I'm trying to like get an art show together, but I don't want it to be no typical art show, like no little pop-up shop, you know, that want nice displays and I can't give all the sauce because I don't want somebody else to do it for me because we know how people are. Nah, that's a fact. So, but, so I be talking to a lot of them and like I said, we all do different type of work. And I feel like I'm the most consistent. I'm not the best. I'm never going to say I'm the best. I've never. But I feel like I'm the most consistent out of everybody. So. I feel like that. I feel like that. I'm not in competition, but I do work hard. And I've never taken no breaks. So. Damn, nigga, you just can move my blunt. <laughs> what are you talking about, Damn, nigga, <laughs> Now I see what she was talking about. Damn, Uzi. My brother in law, but geez, you have a light up. You probably didn't. What were we just talking about? Uh, I just had the craziest idea, too. Talk to me. Would you ever do a fashion show with everybody, all your customers that had either bought a Telfair bag or bought a. Yeah, because my customers are free. I've never had not one customer that I didn't put this shit on. You know what I mean? Like, I, I tell everybody. When they get their shoes, please send me a picture when you wear it so I can see. And everybody put that show on. They, they definitely do me justice. So I would love to do that, but honestly, I know a couple of people that wore their shits down. So I don't even think I could do that. Because <laughs> some people, I'm trying to tell them, like, they're not an everyday shoe. I know you love them, but it's not an everyday That's shoe. That's not an everyday shoe to what she's sitting into. They'll do it and it lasts, but it's just, you know how it is with forces. You can only wear them so many times before the bottom start wearing out, before mm -hmm. it should start turning yellow and all that. So that's not on me. Nike. My shoes are the table. That's a Nike thing. Shut I shouldn't even be doing Nike. Cream. To be on. I should honestly switch over to Adidas. No, no. They no, banned no. me. Who? Nike. What the fuck? Why? I cannot. Shout out to my plugs for providing the shoes because I can't even buy my own shoes. Why though? I've so been able to buy my own shoes since. Last April. So wait, so if you was to like go into like a, the like the Nike outlet and the like sell, so they'd be like, yo, that shot take no, don't do it. I can walk into the stores and grab them, but uh -huh. they never have anything in stores. They are trying. Nike's on some bullshit right now. Mm -hmm. I still been keeping up with what's going on, and they're just on straight bullshit. They never have anything in the stores, so you have no choice but to order it online. And they ban me from ordering online, so I have to have other people grab it for me. It's very, very, very rare that they have shoes in the store. Mm. Very. I was about to say that should be hilarious. They just have and like the employees a, already told me what's going on too because they always used to see me. They just have like a Shantae detector. I'm like, no, that's Shantae. Don't do it. Don't sell it to them. <laughs> You'd be surprised though. Some stores um, have done that to people. Like, um, what's his name? Sharon Barber. He does all Louis Vuitton custom work. Louis Bando. Like, he cannot walk into a Louis Vuitton store at all. He has to have other people buy it for him. And even sometimes they try to tell him, like, you can't even do that shit. They stole some of his ideas, all of that. That's crazy. These companies will do it to you. Nike's been suing everybody. I'm straight because I'm not taking this shoe as is and selling it for more. Mm -hmm. But they've been suing everybody they can for everything. That's, damn. Mm -hmm. I just learned some new shit. 
So I shouldn't be yeah, doing like this, but Gotta give the people what they want. Exactly, the people would rather Nike than Adidas. <laughs> Please start busting out some fire designs. My fault, I walked you right into that. The, 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 I'm gonna put up a poll. Like, yo, it's gonna be Nike rather than Adidas, bro. I'm, I'm gonna add her into Who? What, what would you rather Shantae not, do? Mm-hmm. Nikes I'm or not Adidas? Engaging. Yes, she is. Nikes, <laughs> Nikes or Adidas, y'all. Like, I'm gonna just put the little bushes. <laughs> bushes, man. Lazarus. Oh, I thought it was, was going to work. I seen it with you. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I thought it was going to work. Nope. There you go. So what do you have? Pl- no, matter of fact, I'm going to say that one. What is one thing that you haven't done that you wanted to do? I want to take a shoe apart, put some shit on it, and put it back together. Yeah. And... That's one of my clients, she's been waiting a very long time, and shout out to her for this. Shout out to the couple of my clients that's been waiting for a long time, actually, because they're giving me a chance to learn mm-hmm. new things. Mm-hmm. So I definitely appreciate their patience, but um, I want to do all fabrics. And I could just glue it on and just sew it as is, but I want no seams on it. Well, as least seams as possible. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want stitching going across here and all of that like I want it tucked under and that requires a lot so I'll be taking a class Yo, what the on how to do that that would be crazy make a motion from scratch all that oh yeah we need those word definitely want to do that especially since people don't know this stock up on your air forces for the summer because the price is about to go up again and the supply is about to go down Uh-oh. yeah they sent out an email about um, spring, summer. They're not getting a shipment from wherever. So they only have, have a supply that's in the States. That's not a lot. You know how niggas are in the summer with the Air Forces? Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Nike's not going to be able to keep up with that demand. Yeah. So, your size is already, what, 110 for some more whites? Mm-hmm. About to go up. To what? It just went up. It but... did. It's gone up. What? Twice, three times since I started customs. Bro, I don't, they, they, 120 is too much for some forces. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm good at the 90 mark. Y'all remember when forces was the 90s? 90, yeah, exactly. Feel me? You feel me? Shit, I remember shit was less than that. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I feel like they was used to be like 70. Oh, so, no. Yeah, where are I'm saying? Like that. Like, they, Fucking big bursts was 50 cent, here. nigga. Bags of chips were 25 cent, nigga. Like, good old days. Now, Everything's just taxed. Fuck yep. Trump. I don't know why, yeah, it's, but fuck it's Trump. It's reselling, the reselling Trump game. Biden. Yeah, fuck Biden too. The, the resell game definitely fucked up a lot too. That's a that fact. That definitely fucked up a lot. I never really hopped into that. I was, I was always a buyer. But that's like, about say, you was been never, a thing back you, since like middle school. Like, you never like camped out for some, you remember them days people used to camp out? I had out? plugs. Oh, shit. I used to go. <laughs> I'm all mad like shit. I was a camper. Yeah, and I used to get my shit <laughs> discounted and early. I used to show these be new Michigan games on Friday. Nice Everybody used to show up to new Michigan games on Friday. I would get my shit that Thursday. Show up that Friday with them all because they didn't come out till that Saturday. Wear them that one time to put them up. <laughs> but that's literally why my business is the way it is because people remember how it was back, back then. Shit. I was so, a dork back in the day, so. In big our dork. crew days. Downtown. You feel me? I was a big dork. Okay. And because I played ball too, so you know how the ball community is. Oh, yeah. Facts. I, I can't wait. I used to do crazy bounces. Like, I'm talking about bounces that would have broke your ankles. Oh, yeah. Like, 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 yeah. I mean, Everyone else we used to dust, and I have photo evidence. We can go over that. Oh no no no! We don't have to print no photo. Yeah, because shout out Brighton. You already know. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, I'll always go hard for them. Forty. Oh shit! That was a quick ass forty minutes. Oh, wow. oh shit! That's crazy. You no, know, that's good. Uh, you know we over the higher shit. I always ask this question to people that like getting high with me on my podcast. Give me give me your favorite munchie that you like to eat all time when you get high. Don't disappoint me. Favorite munchie. You eat cereal? Time. Of course. Favorite cereal too. Yo, alright. My favorite cereal is Frosted Flakes. 
because I can have the wet milk or dry. Right, and my friends know all. All right, it's really bad, guys. I'm about to let y'all on the secret of mine. Uh -oh. I sleep eat. So I be mad high and I'll bust down a whole box of frost flakes in my sleep. It's so bad. It's so bad. Like my friends had me like recording with my eyes dead closed eating my food. We we how? <laughs> That's why I be having to put the Zaw down sometimes. Yo, she said I'm I a sleep PK eat. advocate. I am because Zaw be having me doing dumb shit like that. You say you're a PK advocate? I'm a PK advocate. <laughs> I am. Oh, I don't get no trash oh, PK. I'm shit. a PK advocate. Well. Because I can get my work done. It's always for like at night. Because during the day, I can't be all doofy doing my work and shit. So what you smoking in? It's a PK. Because I can't be all doofy talking to you. Why not? Because we already talked about this. Oh, you did. You did. You did. Yeah. I Part can't two. be all doofy, so. <laughs> Hey yo, I'm mad. Like you're the first person ever been. You're the first one to be like, oh, yeah, I'm no, I already did this. I already did this over um on Facebook during quarantine when everybody's doing them little cans, the little. Oh, boutique. the little um boutique cans, right? Everybody's trying to talk yeah, about. Them shits was too hype. I don't know. Them shits was trash. Trash. At all. I couldn't do it. At all. Can't do it. Now I would rather PK over. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was talking about. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm about to, you know, because everybody had them boutique things at one point. I didn't want that. So, fuck that shit. I think yeah. I had him at one point too. I'm over there talking shit. I definitely did have him at one point. So. Everybody oh, had the box. They'll be alright. Hey, man. So what's coming for 2023? What you have planned? Um, I just made an announcement actually. Uh -oh. I will be taking a little hiatus in May. I'm actually fully booked because everybody saw. Him the post and booked issues ahead of time so shout out to people that did so i'm actually booked already so i'm done for the rest of the year but it's to do education i want to learn how to do shoes from scratch there's other things i want to learn that i can't talk about i want to be able to set up the art show and it's hard for me to do that when i'm working on shoes so we're well, no, gonna talk about that I got so 2024 nice idea. we're gonna come back crazy but sometimes you have to take a, a break to be able to Structure everything you want to do. Yeah, that's so. it. Exactly. 100%. 100%. You know? 100%. Hey. Appreciate you for coming on the show. Appreciate you. It's my first interview, so. Oh, it's not going to be your last. You're coming up for part two real soon. <laughs> I know. Let right. them know where to find you, like, all your socials. Um, you can find me on Hugo Customs, J U G O Customs underscore on Instagram. Facebook, Shantae Golden. Add me. Yeah. Add her. <laughs> don't be weird, just add her. Just add me. I'm I'm friendly, I don't bite. Sometimes she's friendly. Sometimes. Sometimes. Be Virgo. Yeah, you know exactly. Like, see, <laughs> be Virgo. Virgo yeah. thing. So no <laughs> cap. Hey, once again, this has been a dope episode with Sean too. Make sure y'all tap well. Can't tap in now because you know she's about to go on the high But when she come back. I'm here. Yeah, you already know. Then another dope episode. Appreciate you, no, sis. I appreciate you, know. G Honcho, represent Talk to Town, represent Mass Coalition, and we out. Bow. <laughs> 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 I know I look mad.